Hi, welcome to Metasoft Training with Cheryl. Today I'm going to teach you how to add in two things into Metasoft. The first is adding a new referring provider. The second is adding a new facility. So let's get started. Once you open your Metasoft, I want you to go to the menu option. We're going to go down to list. And then from list, I want you to go down to referring providers. Select the referring providers. And as you see here, my list of referring providers have populated. To create a new referring provider, we're going to click new at the bottom of the screen. And then a new window will come up and it'll say referring provider new. We're going to leave the code blank and allow Metasoft to create its own code. And the last name, we're going to type in the last name of the actual doctor. And then we're going to fill out the first name. And then we can leave the middle name unless the middle name is actually listed on the payers payment that the the doctor receives from the actual uh, insurance company, then you can list the middle name. If not, leave it blank. Credentials, we want to make sure that we add that in. And then we can tab through in the address. Complete that in its entirety. And if you have your system set up, you can actually tab through, type in the zip code, and it will populate the actual remaining address. If not, it'll take you back to the city, and then you'll have to actually fill in the city and fill in the state. Then, of course, you do not want to put any home or sale numbers, but you do want to make sure that you have the office number listed. The UPIN is no longer needed. You want to enter in the license number for that actual provider if you have it. And yes, this provider is Medicare participating, and you can choose a spe specialty. And then we're going to go to our Referring Providers ID tab. You do not want to click Save until you've actually put in the provider's identification numbers. So on this screen, we're going to click New, and we're going to leave All. And then in the Entity, if it was a group referring provider, then we would want to select the non-person. If it's an individual, we want to leave the person filled out. We're going to click the circle next to the national provider ID and we're going to enter in that referring provider's national ID. If you do have a legacy ID or a unique number for that referring provider, you want to enter that under legacy identifier one. If not, we will leave it as none. Then lastly, we'll click OK and it will populate back on the referring provider new screen. Now we want to click save and it'll bring you back to our referring provider list. And then you'll see our provider actually in the list with the remaining providers. And here you have Rosa Grath, her credentials, her license numbers, if she's a Medicare participating, and it populates right there on the screen. So now you have successfully added in a new referring provider. So we're going to click close. The next thing I want to show you is how to enter in a facility in Metasoft. So we're going to come back to our menu option, go from list down to facilities. The facility screen will open. Then we're going to click new at the bottom of the screen. Again, we're going to leave our code blank and allow Metasoft to do it. And here you want to make sure that the type facility button is entered. We're going to enter in the name of our facility. And then we're going to enter in the street address. and our zip code. And as you see here, it filled out once by putting in the zip code, it filled out the city and state. The extra one and two you wanna leave blank and do not check the purchase services. In the phone number box, we wanna fill out fax number. And of course, you shouldn't have to fill out the cell phone. Um, you can fill out the office number And then the email, uh, you can leave blank in a contact. You can leave blank however you can fill it out if it's wanting to be used in your office. Now we're going to click our facility ID tab, and then we're going to click new at the bottom as well. We're going to leave it for all because it's going to go for all insurance carriers. Check this box that says send facility on claim. And then under the ID qualifier, there's a drop down. You want to make sure you choose FA for facility. And then we're going to put in our national provider ID for our facility location. The taxonomy is none. If we did have a clear number, we can put that here as well. If there's a unique number for your facility, you will put that on the legacy identifier. 
So once we filled out all the needed boxes, we're going to click OK. Then it brings us back to our facility ID screen. And from that point, we will click Save. And you'll see our new facility is added to the list of current facilities. So after that, we're going to click Close. And then we have successfully entered in a referring provider and a new facility. This brings us to the end of our video. It was good working with you and talking to you today. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email.